this is it. That's it. That's tight. All right, all right, all right, all right. And this is the chat. And this is the SEM. Hello, gamers. <laughs> I'm so tired. Uh, hello, gamers. Today we are looking at things that you would find in your backyard if you mayhaps lived in Indiana in the United States, preferably. Why are you talking so quiet? I don't know. Preferably in a rural area. Um, as we zoom out, we'll see the majesty of what we're looking at. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be in charge. Oh, it's a shell. Back in the day, as in how many years ago? I don't know. What's the context? Um, at least 14 million years ago. 14 million years ago, Indiana was underneath a glacier. Um, oh, and yeah, within you're way the, off now. Within the, what am I way off of? Glaciated? Like the last glacial maximum was like uh, 18,000 years ago here? Uh, just Thousand. as I was saying, 18,000 years ago, <laughs> we were under a glacier. And when that glacier pulled back, it left a lot of water. Um, as the earth got a little toastier and toastier, at least in our area. It's getting toastier as well, actually, um, with the beautiful experience that we're having nowadays. Um, what degree is it outside right now? Uh, around 45 degrees today. It is not 40 degrees. Um, it's, a, it's 60. It's not 60. I'm going to have to disagree with that. It was 60 yesterday. It was very toasty. I went on a walk yesterday. It was nice. Um, let's see. What does my phone think it was? Beautiful shell. No, I want to get this shell into uh, focus. My phone effect. says it's 7 degrees. 7? It's close. Well, my phone's in centigrade, so... Let me switch it over. Like to Mars Celsius. retrograde? Or Mercury? Whatever. I don't understand uh, My phone says 45 degrees. I'm going to have to disagree with your phone. It's very toasty outside. So is it, I'm pretty sure that's the number I just gave. No, I... I'm pretty sure that's precisely the number I gave. I don't recall. I'm going to have to think about that. Um, regardless, uh, a lot of water was left. And when a lot of water Sarah's was left... Sarah's here and she says it's definitely not 60 degrees out today. It's so freaking toasty, guys. Maybe I'm, like, having a heat stroke from the 45 degree weather. Now... I think I'm going to bring the working distance up a little bit because I want the whole shell in this picture, this photograph. Much like Ed Sheeran, I'm going to keep this... You need to go farther. I know. I'm going to keep this love in a photograph, yeah. this love being a seashell. That, you can um, center that and then it will Get in there. You know centering's my... probably the worst thing I can do. Well, that's not the right it's way to say that. the worst thing you can do. What's the worst thing you can do as a person? I mean, there's so many options. Yeah. I don't know. What's the worst crime? Oh, Rihanna's here. Rihanna, what's up? I was messaging you uh, last night. Wasn't I? I was. Oh, and you can see the growth bands really good. You know, Did I ever three finish days my in story? a row, Rihanna said she was going to play Minecraft with us and then stood us up. Fake. And for no reason. I mean, I don't know what her um, reasons were for last night, but the previous two she was probably working on stuff. Do so. six. Yeah. Last night she was like, I don't have anything to do, so I'm definitely going to be on, and then she wasn't on. It's kind of fake, Rihanna. Yeah. My little nose is just... Um, as I was saying about the seashell, the glaciers moved back 18 million thousand years ago. <laughs> in that order. And what was left was a series of ice-dwelling snails that uh, they crawled out from the ice that they had been buried in since the dawn of time. They're carnivorous, by the way, or they were. They're extinct now. We're looking at one of their shells. This one in particular is about 14 billion years old. Um, back in the day when they did run the Space Federation, uh, this is one of the babies, by the way. They're much larger, probably the size of this room if I'm to go by, but they were in space, so they were a little more compact, right? Anyway, so, 
Uh, Should I go in and take the educational tag off of the screen? <laughs> no, we just had water here at some point. Uh, this, snail, this snail actually is a little tiny snail. Snail mail. Uh, you can tell that from the field of view information in there that Mallory's showing right now that the entire field of view is about four millimeters. And so uh, this is a pretty small snail. <laughs> it's 12-12. Musha musha. No, we're going to go, uh, what should we call this file? Snail, Mr. Snail Man. Send Snaily me a you make snail face. That's snail. what I was going to go with. Snail, 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 snail. And then I want to get a close-up picture of these growth bands. No. Yeah, so the lines that you can see, there's, you know, there's the coil, which is the snail house itself there. Yeah. And then there's these sort of marks that you can see, these arc-shaped arc marks I feel like they're it. definitely raised. Those are growth bands. Yeah, I know, I said I feel like they're definitely raised, like they're not just marks. They're definitely what? They're definitely raised, like raised. Oh, Like, yeah. ra like lifted, like them. elevated. Yeah, they have relief. Well, I mean, I don't know their state of mind right now, but I mean, sure. I'm not funny. <laughs> I'm a bonbon says space snails, cool. Yeah, actually, um, did you know that uh, that's a pretty good picture. You think it would look better darker or lighter? I think it would look good if it was a little bit less of the tape show. Of the what? The tape. Oh, the tape! My friend! My friend, the tape. We'll get like double bands. Stacks on stacks, if you will. Oh, if you get too close, you can't see the arc. Yeah. You want to see the arc? Is that what you want? Oh, I think you want to see like the outside. Hold on, I need to get a little bit closer. I don't want to see the dirt. Well, Why are we focusing so hard on the dirt? Because if I focus on the dirt, then the whole thing's going to be in focus. You want the arc right there? Yeah, so, a little bit of it so you can tell you're looking at it. It looks good like, like that. Like this? This yeah. is what you want? That's what I want. Okay. I want it to be a seven though. Give the people, oh, oh. Giving the people what they want. All right, so uh, Rian asked where'd I find this snail. I found this snail shell. I think it, I think the snail was dead when I found it under a rock, uh, just like the title says. I flipped over some rocks. I was walking around campus like flipping over rocks, and in multiple places I found these little tiny, tiny snails, and uh, just the shells, and picked it up. And of course, um, when I showed them to Mallory, she immediately explained to me that they came from space glaciers and that they were carnivorous snails. Actually, I'm, I'm getting my uh, bachelor's in chemistry right now, but before I was born, when I was in my soul body, I, <laughs> I did finish a, a doctor of philosophy in space snailology, so... Uh, I mean, Tech it Rick is. Wants to know, can you tell the age of? Sorry, I didn't mean to cut off your. No, it's fine. It's history. fine. No, it's fine. <laughs> this is sort of a really important <laughs> life history you have going on there. It's fine. Uh, can you tell the age of the snail from the growth bands? Can I? No. I think um, you you'd probably have to know um, how frequently they grow, but I think then once you did that, you could count them. Um, but I don't think that they're annual or anything like that. Um, but they may be like, you know, you know, each one may be some increment of time. I just don't know what that time frame is. Um, I know for, for other mollusks, like um, clams, for example, you can get annual growth bands on them. Uh, and I suspect some snails, too, probably have annual growth. But this looks like, uh, you know, it's a little tiny guy. So those might be daily or uh, something like that. Growth? Is this a thing? Should I block this? I think they're just trying to tell you that the because we're using that version of Windows, mm. we may create a problem. Okay, sorry. Continue. When were glaciers last covering Indiana? Great question. Um, as I was saying earlier, it was roughly 18 million thousand years. Um, no. Yes. No. Yes. 
You said it was 18,000. 18,000, yes. So Tecrific, like with trees, they have growth bands. It's just that we don't necessarily know what the increment is. So trees and corals and uh, cave deposits and many other things um, have sort of growth bands that sort of mark the increments uh, for this organism's actual like deposition of the shell. So those could be potentially daily bands um, based on the daily size of the snail bands. and probably how old it got. How old do you think the snail got? I mean, guess, guess, guess. A year or two. Oh shoot! Did I not go into the? No! I made the file and then I didn't use it. It's called being a genius. It's called what? It's called being a genius. Being a genius? Yeah. Hold on. I wouldn't know anything about that. Welcome to my kitchen. Mr. Big Snail Man. Lines. Alright. I think the question was aimed for you, though. I don't think they wanted to know, like, factually when it was in the end of last time you really sure. They wanted to know based on my degree? <laughs> your degree, yes. In, <laughs> in, your, in glacier in snailology. <laughs> my <laughs> high school diploma. <laughs> I got a degree in high school. Um, at this point, I kind of want to get like a like a barrel, 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 barrel. Yeah, just like that. Exactly like that. Yes, 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 it, yes. You know, uh, it's it's Saturday, and it's in the morning. Yeah. And the snail looks like a delicious cinnamon roll. It does. Can you edit this look like a cinnamon roll? I can try. Thank you. I don't know about the frosting. What part. a girl wants. What a girl needs. I think I would probably, well, I'm not going to say that out loud. I would do a lot for a cinnamon roll. Um, definitely. Uh, should this, this should be a six. Here. This should be a six. Del, what's good? How are Del. those uh, den dendros? Human bones have growth bands. Are growth bands, oh, hey, Mika. Mika. It's I'm Mika. No, I won't play his game. Our growth bands like the wrinkles on our foreheads. Um, I would know. I have like three now. <laughs> I'm aging exponentially, guys. I tried to stand up the other day. My knees gave out. I don't even have them anymore. This is a wheelchair. I lost my legs. When, uh, when Mallory started in my lab, I had no wrinkles. Now we're good. Hey, we have a new follow. What a girl wants. Goofy Lagrangian. Okay. Thank What's you up, for that. Mal won't be drawn into pronouncing your name correctly. Yeah. I won't play this game. I've fallen for it too many times to fall for it another time. Snail mail. Cinnamon. Boon. So, uh, we didn't just find one snail. Oh, yeah. We found many snails. We found two. <laughs> and uh, two of them, <coughs> the shells anyway. I'm not sick, I'm just making myself laugh. Your laughter is a sickness. Oh, look at the fracture. It's got cracks. Yeah. It's probably because um, Mallory was... I was roughhousing with it. We were. <laughs> I was going to go with main handling, but um, I, I know you're sensitive about the hand part, so... <laughs> you told me I'm man hands. How should I, how should I go about focusing on this? She's got some depth to her. It's a donut. I think I might be hungry. I definitely ate like seven and a half pizza rolls. And I can't explain the half because it was really oddly formed. Um, yeah, that was my nutrition for the day. I'm thinking of making tacos tonight, but I found out what Chava's was last night. I didn't eat there, but I found out what it was and I'm pretty excited about it. What are you talking about? Um, there's a restaurant in town called Chava's. It's like Qdoba, but better. What are you talking about? You didn't know Chavez was here? I didn't know what I, I didn't know what it's it was. It's like two blocks from campus. I thought it was a coffee shop. Named Chavez. I think it says Mexican Grill or something on it. In my defense, I think there's a coffee shop right beside it. Yeah. Yeah, what's that one called? Um I don't know. Let's it's right on the, the corner there though. Let's look at the belly button. No, What's I don't go I don't drink coffee. I don't drink it either. What a girl wants. What but it's, a girl wants. It's next to J. Gumbo's. That's what it is, but that's not a coffee shop. No, J. Gumbo's is a Cajun place. I was so close. 
I don't know if it's become apparent to the, the chat. Um, Goku Lagrangian wants to know, what is a paleolimnologist? That's a great question. Um, Lim means arm. Paleo means old. We actually study um, bones left by people's arms. So, um, if you want the real answer, <laughs> limno means lake. Well, actually, limnology is the study of lakes and all fresh water for sort of terrestrial water bodies. And paleo does mean old, so Mallory was half right. Yeah. Um, Wait, is that not what we do? I mean, if people's arms fall in the lake and they get trapped in the sediments and I happen to core them, then I would study their arms. But um, typically, I just study microscopic organisms that their bodies fall to the bottom. Old yeah. people arms. Yeah, old people arms. Yeah. Is, um, I mean, it seems like the sort of thing that would really draw the younger kids in. Like, hey, you want to check out these old people's arms? Oh, shoot. What are you doing? I'm looking at this. Taking a picture of the button. The belly button, if you will. It's cinnamon. 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 We just took a picture of you. Oh, yeah, we have a cinnamon roll. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The pyramids made themselves in a holistic fashion joke. I want you to expand on that a little a, bit. You know, Cease, that's a good idea. Uh, maybe we could check their arms and look at the wrinkles on their arms to see how old people were. Only if their arms cool. fell in the lake, though. Belliest of buttons. I mean, there's some, there's some junk in that belly button. I'm not gonna lie. Have you ever like actively cleaned out your belly button? Um, do you regularly do that? How regularly do you clean out your belly button? I, I'm not comfortable <laughs> with where this conversation is going. I'm just kind of curious. Like what? Like what's? I don't know. Like they say you're supposed to clean out like the air vents in your house every every year. I don't think year. that the, there's a flow through my belly button. Or rather, I hope there is. Oh, I want to get these. This looks like the moon. Can you post this and say it's the moon and see how many people believe you? Um, you could. Mm. I feel like I need to keep my credentials mm. legitimate. Okay, that's good there. Does look very lunar. Looks moony, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna take that on a seven. Might not. Like, go on. <laughs> Del wants to know: I do I place replace my naval filter? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were in the military. Ha! Got him. All right. Let's see. <laughs> uh, Goofy wants to know: What is the coolest thing you've ever seen under the SCM? Something spider. that blew your mind. Spider egg. Spider egg cover. That's my phone background. It's cool. What about yours? I kind of like diatoms. Yeah, but like, okay, but like, go a little further with that. Uh, hey Pacific, that's good. This looks so moonish. Moon-esque, if you will. I, I think you could use lunar. No, I don't think I could. <laughs> What's the coolest diatom you've seen out of the SEM? Go. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Why are you counting? I was thought you, some people Is do better under be a rocket. Some people do better under pressure. Yeah, with the, <laughs> the lunar. <laughs> These are the the pads that the the uh, rovers took. I don't know. A lot of things I see under the SEM I find really cool, and that's why I keep looking at stuff under. I really liked when we were looking at the moth scales and butterfly scales. Those were really cool um, to me because they have so much structure to them, and you could just kind of you can't unbelievable. Put, uh, you can't put special characters like that in a name. Unbelievable. I named this one Twilight New Moon for anyone wondering. They all want to know. <laughs> it's not the only thing they want. So it's in general things are interesting. I'd say we've got some pretty interesting things lined up for today. Del says you'd be safe for claiming it's the surface of Enceladus. Um, I don't care. My middle name is Danger. <laughs> I don't care about safety. 
I mean, have you seen my lab technique? I'm surprised danger is not your first name based on your lab technique. <laughs> I mean, you did huff nitric acid. It was accidental huffing, to be fair. Da, 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 da. And I want the little snail hole. I'm hoping to see someone peek out. Let a girl know. A little bit dark, huh? That's dark. You are out of focus, but that's okay because we're focusing on down here. It looks artsy when it's out of focus. Really? No. Okay. Why do you say that? <laughs> I was trying to make you feel better. Thanks. This is good. Uh, now it's over. This is fantastic. Let's do this. You've over brightened and out of focus, didn't No. No, this is in focus. This is out of focus. Let's see, look. It's like aesthetically, it's like we're just peeking into a smaller world. It's not good. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, see if we can fix that. Everything will look better if you zoom out. Yeah, that's true. Uh, what will happen is the things that were out of focus will become in focus. That's how depth of focus works. No, I have to disagree. Because right now your depth of focus is about Ten. 619 microns. Mm -hmm. and a bit much of the tape in the picture, if I do say so myself. I mean, that's a complaint I had earlier. Yeah. You could take a little bit of the tape out of the picture. Am I well? <laughs> I kind of want you to picture the crack. You're just taking a picture you don't even like? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's one of those Whoa. picture cracks you were talking Whoa, about. Whoa, guys. So this is what I was talking about earlier when I was discussing <laughs> when I was discussing the, the glacial snail revolution. Um, it's a common misconception that dinosaurs walked the earth. In fact, it was just really big snails. Um, their shells were kind of small then. And they had some like more development, like in terms of, you know, having limbs and all that. Anyway. Um, Sarah says lizard blood is difficult to look at up close. Does it make you squeamish or something? What do you mean difficult? Goofy asked the following question. This may sound naive, mm -hmm. but, and I'm just going to qualify this with, you can ask naive questions, mm -hmm. um, we don't care, I mean, just don't listen to what Mallory has to say about the answers. Uh, how do you get those colored images, what kind of post-processing is involved? Mm -hmm. So normally what I do is they come out of the machine black and white like this, and, uh, and I have to add color, you want to know why? Because yeah. black and white aren't colors. And, uh, and I take them into a program called Adobe Lightroom, which is basically so like... So dark. Yeah, why do you make it so dark? Because this bright spot... I'll just cut the bright spot Fix out. Fix it. I'm trying! Fix it. Uh, Adobe Lightroom. And Adobe Lightroom will let me modify... Good enough. Three aspects of the image. The shadows the midtones and the highlights. I can also play with things like saturation and um, the, t the temperature of the image, so I can make it kind of look more red or, or blue, warmer or colder. Um, those are adjustments that you would normally make with photographs um, that, are, that are colored. Um, mm -hmm. So first I add the color and then I sort of play with the colors but it'll let you colorize them. You can also go into similar programs, like if you wanted to, you could take it into um, Photoshop, and then you could paint the different layers of the image, different colors. Uh, you know, I could highlight areas and sort of paint them, but uh, I never do that because it's too much work, um, and I, I, I'm a busy person. Um, but if I knew somebody who was, I knew somebody. I like how you're typing and giggling, and they can see you, see you typing and giggling. Uh, it 
some point I made an offer on uh, a little artist collective that I am part of, the Artist Back Alley. Uh, if anybody wanted to um, help me by colorizing images using painting tools, but nobody took me up on it. So. All right, so. Hey, oh. paint jobs. Thank you, Peach Chops. Thank you for the subscription, the continuation of your subscription, Peach Chops. Hey, uh, Mika, please don't cause discourse in the chat. Um, when Dr. Stone says something, we should abide by it. <laughs> so we're moving on from the snail shell, and now we're going to look at a wizened old man who also, this was the wisest old man in all of, um, in all of the little prehistoric time. I can't explain what I mean by that. No one knows what you're talking about. So right now we're looking at a pill book. <laughs> but he looks like a little a little wise man, you know, in my opinion. He looks like a pill bug. I know you're gonna say like a, a wise old man. He looks like a wise old man and as he's got his hands, he's like Oh, I see. Yeah. I thought you were just trying to I'm gonna rotate me no by calling me a pill bug. <laughs> no. Anyway, I'm going to rotate this uh, righty tighty lefty loosey. I'm going to get it wrong anyway. Yes, it's an isopod. 345. Or sometimes called a, um, a sow bug. Yes. It's got a lot of names. When I was a kid, we called them roly polies. Yeah, they're roly polies. Roly poly olies. Uh, because when you touch them, they roll up into a ball. Is and this, are they this like. This was my favorite uh, thing to play with when I was a child. That's really strange to say. I would go outside and I would just pick them up and they'd roll up into a little ball and then I would just hold them in my hand until they unrolled. Because I thought it was cool that they could trust me. <laughs> I appreciated their trust in me. Do you? Only now. <laughs> anyway, I think he's got like the big Only bushy... after I was your safety valve for some of your dates. Yeah. <laughs> That's ridiculous. He's like, yes. What can I do for you, Mallory? Exactly. Wait, I want a seven. Yeah, why do you keep making sixes? Because I feel like I don't know. I don't have a reason. Okay, 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 okay. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, Micah says that he thinks you're insulting all men in general. Um, and hmm. Sarah says, roly poly isopods, and then Pacific Plankton says some roll and some don't. That's an opinion. And uh, Cease says, uh, right into the eye spot. Del says, I used to play with them too. They're great little toys. You collect as many as you can and get a whole handful of them. And then you eat them. It was a nice break from Hoop and Stick. <laughs> hey, back in my day, yeah. we just collected roly bones. We didn't have toys. Look at that. He looks like a maze on his forehead. See, look at his wrinkles. He's. He's so wise. I sure he could tell us so much. Think of what this face has seen. Goofy wants to know why did I choose the um, my area as an academic career and what attracted me to paleo things. I've been asking that for weeks. He hasn't answered. What? I did answer you. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm playing. Uh, I started off as a geologist, and I was mostly attracted to it because um, this sort of like a deep mystery in, um, in science and the earth, and um, I wasn't making fun, and uh, um, I just found it sort of interesting, it's just like a, a puzzle with most of the pieces missing, and you had to sort of figure out what it was, you know, what's going on with not as much information as, say, a biologist would have the same setting, like you don't have the actual environment anymore, you just have the organisms that live in the environment. And um, from that you're trying to figure out like 
what can these organisms actually tell me about the past? And um, so I, I, you know, I sort of came about it very roundabout through geology. Eventually, I started looking at some environments from um, the Permian, so 200 plus million years ago. And I wanted to sort of see what it was like in the modern environment. There wasn't really a modern environment that was very similar to it. So I, um, I went to the next closest thing, which was Florida Bay, and did some work in Florida Bay um, while I was working at the United States Geologic Survey. And um, I met a diatom person there and started talking about what you could use diatoms to do. So how you, how you could use them to reconstruct past environments. And I just found it sort of fascinating. And also they're very charismatic uh, organisms. And um, nope, you named that one already. And uh, <laughs> now one of his little hands, his little mitts, if you will. You gonna zoom in on the hands? Oh yeah. Are you know, gonna I... hold one of your hands up to it and see how well it compares? Guys, okay. Um, I, I look at those things. I did take a terror. Imagine that little thing crawling all over you. Um, I did take a really interesting photograph uh, during the stream, and it was of my finger held up next to something that we were looking at. And apparently, <laughs> my fingers are notorious for being weird looking. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it definitely matched exactly what the creepy thing is. <laughs> My, my they want to know how creepy your hands are. Um, I'll show you have to take this picture. I'll, I will present my hands. I'll say what's it. wrong with it. Um, uh, does there something need to be wrong with it for it to be creepy? I'm just kidding. They're not actually asking that. Oh, really? <laughs> you have me going. <laughs> Mrs. McFlankton says maybe you need some mittens. <laughs> Wait. Oh, no. I left my jacket in my car. I parked up close to you the You have building. little pink mittens? Mittens. Mittens? Guys, how do you say it? Mittens or mittens? I said uh, the same thing twice. Mitt Mitt he wants to know, is there a white whale in my specific research area that I've been trying oh. to chase? Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Uh, I'm an idiot. What uh, would oh, like to oh, see oh. get accomplished in my academic career? What's going on? I'm taking a picture of hands. Oh. Um, n no, I don't have sort of white whale kind of situations. I... Um, I just like exploring um, both taxonomically and environmentally things in the past. And um, yeah, I don't have any, uh, my goals are usually more narrow than that. So for example, uh, we're trying to get funding to reconstruct a 10 million year lake record from Lake Tanganyika. And um, of course it's a super expensive Endeavor. It's going to take a long time to actually accomplish, but um, we'll be able to reconstruct the environmental history of that uh, lake and also um, explore its evolution over a span of 10 million years from, um, from a terrestrial setting, which, you know, 10 million consecutive years in one setting is pretty amazing. So just as an example. says, Goofy, you have the most awesome questions. Keep going. Yeah, Goofly... Let me try that again. Goofy Lagrangian... Micah says that nice. he doesn't usually pronounce the T's. He's from Cheeseland, so I wouldn't expect anything and, less or more. Uh, Sarah says she usually wears big mittens known as choppers. We must get back to the choppers. Core sampling question mark? Core, oh, course, you, yeah. What do you mean core sampling? Uh, question mark. What do you want to know about it, Mama Bon Bon? Mama Bonds. Guys, I'm gonna make up a rap for Mama Bon Bon right now, okay? Bon Bon, Mama Bon Bon. Bon Bon Bon, Mom Bon. Mom Bon. Mama Bon Bon. You can click this. <laughs> no. <laughs> what up? Mama Bon Bon, doing Bon Bon things. 
A bonbon is a type of pastry, I think. No. Can't really remember. <laughs> it's not. It's candy. A mom is a type of mom. It's a universal idea. Don't need to explain it. Bonbons, neither here nor there. Mama Bonbon. If anyone else would like a wrap, um, let me know. You'll have to subscribe to her. <laughs> this is the high quality content you crave. <laughs> legs on legs. Wait. Leg day. Which I guess means you should do one for pea chops. I oh, think pea chops actually has an easier name to wrap to than Mama Bon Bon. But really? Maybe if you could Let's put Mama Bon butt. Bon and pea chops together in a wrap. Let's see what's going on down here. Are you looking at its butt? I'm kind of curious. Did you ask? May I? I got consent. <laughs> I'm going back. I'm just kind of curious. Like, does it just end? I don't know much about, or really anything about Roly Poly. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, Pacific Plankton is not a fan of your rapping. Really? Yeah. Wow. Unbelievable. Uh, Sarah wants to know, do trees have diatoms in them, like incorporated into the wood? Mm. Uh, the answer to that is sometimes, Sarah. Uh, there are diatoms that live in subaquatic environments, and some of those subaquatic environments include things like lichens, mosses, and tree bark. Um, so there's some living diatoms that are basically growing on the surface of trees. Usually it helps if they're a little bit wetter uh, tree systems. Uh, and if you were to, for example, go to um, the Amazon rainforest and you look at the tank vermilion um, type plants that have a pocket of water that they sort of trap in the leaves, they have that sort of uh, structure that the leaves create like a chamber or a pot, um, they will uh, sometimes have diatoms living in that uh, little aquatic ecosystem that's in there, even though there's essentially almost no nutrients available. Uh, Goofy wants to know, how do I choose grad students? Is there any specific quality that they, I look for? Uh, for grad students, I usually, uh, I usually look for people who are um, deeply interested in questions that I can help answer, and that's basically the limit of it. Um, I have like PhD students that Right now I have a PhD student that's working in remote sensing, so totally outside my field of comfort, but they're looking at lake systems and trying to use remote sensing to tell us things about um, water quality. So I feel like I can help answer those questions. And as an example, even though it's not something that I do for, um, for my primary focus of research, it's something that I think I can help them answer those questions. Um, but most of my grad students come to me through interest in diatom, either taxonomy or um, paleoecology, or they, they've read my papers or something along those lines, and um, or maybe spoken to my colleagues, and they're interested in um, using diatoms to reconstruct either water quality or past water quality or past water conditions. So, um, I don't know. Uh, I guess I want to know what they're they're interested in doing, and if I can help them reach that goal. Um, otherwise, I don't think I should take on a student if I way too dark. I know. You gotta choose. You gotta make a choice. Uh, I don't want to choose students who you know, who I can't help. Um, I only want to be able to basically provide them a pathway forward that I think would be beneficial for their careers. Quality wrapping, that's how you choose. Oh, for I'll talk about my coring project a little bit later. Um, on the um, it's a really long story there. Uh, Riverzoid wants to know, uh, what does HV uh, 10 kV mean? That is the accelerating voltage. And so uh, we have a range on the scanning electron microscope of accelerating voltages. Keep going, you're fine, you're fine. The one, the, the Mallory question? <laughs> Keep going, you're fine with your explanation. Uh, accelerating voltage is basically how uh, intense or how strong the, strongly the beam is striking the 
surface of the sample material. So that little cone-shaped thing in the oh, maybe we don't have a chamber view right now. Mm -hmm. um, Do there's an electron gun that's sort of firing down on uh, on the sample, and um, the speed of the electrons and the uh, acceleration of those electrons is controlled. And um, we can sort of set it anywhere from, I guess, 1 to something like 30 kilovolts. Um, and then uh, it determines how far into the sample you can see. So right now we have it set at 10 kilovolts. A lot of times we operate under 30 kilovolts. Um, if it's set at 10 kilovolts, you see more of the surface. And if you set it at 30, we would see basically a little bit farther into the material. And so we would see a little bit less of the surface and a little bit more sort of the depth of whatever it is. So if we were looking at surface structures or surface features, having it on 10 is probably a little bit more beneficial. Uh, if we were looking to try to see some sort of ultra structure, um, or the sort of fundamental structure inside of whatever it is we're looking at, we might want to turn the accelerating voltage up. Also, the acceleration, accelerating voltage controls um, the magnification power on some level. So as a result, having it... Um, <laughs> hmm. That's an interesting name for you the guys, person who just followed. You can read that for yourself. Thank you, though. For so it has some controls that we make adjustments for. And I mean, normally when we look at diatoms, we're, we're in the range of 10 to 30, but you could go as low as five probably and be fine. My daughter keeps these, uh, these guys as pets. You should yeah, show her these pictures. Polars, yeah. You should show her these pictures. I'm sure yeah. she'll like it even Maybe better. Maybe she should change her mind after seeing them up close. Charlotte was on a long phone call. Charlotte wants to know what path is Mallory on, and is it beneficial to her life? Mm, I can't. Uh, Mallory is an undergraduate. I am a junior in college. Um, asking a junior in college what path they are in life is like. Can we zoom in on its face or those like scales on its uh, antenna bases? Or you want the end? Yeah. Um, it's a dangerous question. I thought Danger was your middle name. Oh no, you caught me. <laughs> I've been, I've been outed. Um, uh, I'm starting to have an idea of what scales. I want. Oh. She wants to study roly polies for a living. If I could, I would. Um, she wants to talk to them about is this, their butts. You want like a close with the antenna or just like the pattern? Just that pattern. Okay. Um, I'm having ideas about which way I want to take my life, but I don't like making definite statements because if you make definite statements about your life and then you change your mind, you let people down, so. She wants um, to be, uh, she wants to be a chemistry professor. I want to be a professor, I don't know what of. She wants to be, she wants to profess things. I want to profess things to many people. I want to profess my love to multiple people at one time. Actually, Gross. I'm going to start right now. Um, Everyone in the chat, Mallory's on the path of destruction. <laughs> <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> I'm already let down, so no worries. <laughs> yeah, we're at the bottom, so we got nowhere to go. <laughs> exactly, that's what I'm thinking of. Mal woke up today and chose violence. <laughs> I was going to tell all of you that I love you all, but... Now I'm going to withhold my love. Rocket 1959 says those spines are for defense. Oh, are they? Or are they saying that? They said it's so small yet so intricate. I love it when... I love it when they just say... Nice. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Bottom. No, I don't hate you. No. Look at those spikes. Um, I don't think I've ever hated anyone. I think about this sometimes. The little tiny spikes that you can see on the scales, like between the scales, those are actually um, like sensory hairs for most mm. um, organisms. I don't know if that's the case for roly-poly, but on bees and things like that, when we see little hairs, they're basically so they can sense the, um, the environment around them. Uh, I mean, as you can imagine, that. Their eyes are kind of limited, so they kind of have to feel their way around in the sediments. 
and um, you know they can't look back over their shoulder or whatever. So uh, I think they use those hairs to help them detect that they're brushed up against something. And in some cases, maybe they would trigger trigger them rolling up into a little ball. See swig him. I'll be in that position in it, uh, only half a year because I did just finish my finals yesterday. Half a year? Um, half a year. You're not already a senior? Like technically? Technically, I'm uh, I'm a first. I'm a second semester senior now. Technically. Second semester. Yeah. That's why you keep telling people you're a junior. Because I'm. I've only been here for. You're trying to two lower their years. expectations yes. again. Yes. Yes. I came in with a lot of credits, so I have my degree and use it trying to get a master's degree. Ha 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 ha. Um, hold on. Twenty seconds. If only everyone had a scanning electron microscope. Thanks, Mike. Well, I think probably the people who. Um, Rocket 1959. That's an old name. If people people who sold scanning electron microscopes probably wish that was the case because they're expensive. Charlotte wants to fight, and for what reason? I will win every time. Do you see these guns? Uh, uh, she brought two tickets to the gun show, but she's taking your tickets. <laughs> Pacific, uh, that's a great question. I don't have opinions on colors. I've liked pink a lot recently, but I also like blue and all the other ones as well. It depends on the day. Um, what's your favorite color? Orange. Snakeskin poly. I kind of like the color of my sweater right here. Like burnt orange or like burnt a sienna orange. orange. Yes. It's blood orange. It looked like blood I almost orange. punched it's you, but red. I clearly was nowhere near punching you. If you could punch me, that'd be okay. If, well, as I'm glad as I have your permission to do something I would never do. Yeah, well, I'm saying, like, if it came to that. Like, well, if I was I a zombie. you permission to punch me. Well, I didn't give you permission to punch me. Wait, did. wait, no, no, I meant to say. <laughs> <laughs> You explicitly just told me it was okay if I punched <laughs> it's on, you. It's, it's on film. Yeah, somebody clip it. I think the mouth is going to be a little too grody. No, then. it's great. What are you doing? Is it not like, does it not grody? Is it not? Oh, these are like tea. That Arr, This one broke Arr. off. That's the way it sounds. What the? Really? Yeah. It looks like a, like a like a little henchman, like a little piggy henchman of like an evil villain in a cartoon uh, from 2009. You know you previously named yourself as a henchman to me. Igor. Igor. And your mouth looks nothing like this. They don't know that. They do. They haven't seen me. They've seen your mouth. Um, yeah, because you're right, because I did do the candy corn performance a while ago, <laughs> didn't I know? <laughs> I, I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> only only the originals remember. And by originals, I mean literally. I'm not like, no, that was October. Oh, that I was so odd. You got a very pretty mouth. Uh, spirit override, thank you. Wait, but thank you and also we're sorry. <laughs> they heard, they heard pig mouth and they were like, I'm in. <laughs> They're like, that sounds like my kind of time. <laughs> hey, do you guys know Bill Withers? Pacific Plankton says she likes red. You do? That's Sylvia's favorite color. I would have thought blue. If but that just may be my bias because I'm thinking Pacific Ocean. I just associate you with the beach. You're like the ocean lady. You're like Mother Earth to me. You're like a, like a form. Also, uh, yeah. Herbizoids said orange, of course, because they they have taste. Hextrum said clear. I don't think clear is a color. Mm. I can't confirm or deny that. Uh, now, I want to take this picture, but I C don't... Cease says green is objectively the best color. Well, I don't know what you even... Micah says brown and earth colors. Also, also okay. good. Brown is also one. You know, brown is just orange. That's a little bit burnt. Little brown is... Burnt. Brown is... Brown is chicken nuggets that you put in just, a, just right. Here, Yawns! What's up? What's up, boo? What's going on? I'll get a better green. You gave us lyrics for Ain't No Sunshine. Uh, yes, Micah says you've taken your mask off on stream before when I left. Oh wait, no, that's why you left? Understandable. Uh, I'm gonna like... 
Spirit Override who just joined, so they're happy to be here. This is so cool. It's gonna be even cooler. That looks like a snake. It would be cooler if Mallory took her mask off. What was that noise? What? That sounded magical. It does. Oh, somebody cheered. Oh, it was I wanna go look at it. Hold Jim on. Jim Yaz. Jim Yaz? Jim Yaz. Jim Yaz. Jimmy, Jimmy Yaz. Jim Yaz. Jim Yaz. I'll cheer 100 times to celebrate. Ha! 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 Oh, no, done. please don't. <laughs> I don't think ha is a cheer anyway. Sherlock says that they're going to go. And they gave you tools. And it came across as an address. Go. By Sherlock. Sherlock. You were my favorite TV show when I was 13. Which was like last year. Yeah. I'm actually 54. I won't explain that comment. Yance is going to be watching the Diatom t-shirt for the first time. Like, are you really? going to stream that? You should stream that, Yance. We'll put some Japanese text on it, and then you can stream it. Remember when I accurately guessed um, that Yance uh, has been to you Japan? Know, Hello. Yance is a, it's a fact chemist. I do train. Oh, hold on, hold on. Go train. Hello, Frecht Chemist. I am Dr. Stone. Hello. Today we're looking at a bug's mouth. As you can see from the bug's mouth. I'm really, uh, <laughs> I'm really excited by your impression of me. I don't even know. I just like. This is the best I can. It's magical. Is he sputtered? Yes. It's like you've been listening to me talk for three years now, yeah. and you've got it down. Yeah. Yeah. I sound exactly like the whole wall. I don't think I even. I don't even know how I sound. I don't know how people do impressions. I have no clue what I sound like. Just put the word like every fifth or sixth word, and that's you, in a nutshell. Really? Like really? Yeah. Like it is. Like yeah. And then stick in like an oh my god. Like in to there. To be fair. Oh my god. To like, be to be fair. Like, oh my god. To be fair, I was fifteen. Um, and then maybe uh, at some point sprinkle in some modern uh, expressions like you got it, queen. Go king. Like oh my god. And that's it. I think I got it. I mean the pitch is wrong. I'm in the wrong. Pitch. What's good? Um, I have been eviscerated live on stream. <laughs> Welcome, new friends. 3D Octopus, is this independent research or affiliated with an organization? This is state sanctioned torture. Um, this is a public university. Um, why is this image so slow? We, we, we add to the quality by making it slower. Roll email. Uh, but, but they asked if it was independent research or if it was something. Or uh, this is the research I did when I was uh, seven years old, when I was looking under rocks as a kid. We're going to move on after this. Mouth-a-mouth-a, mouth because the other one is just shredded, so there's no point in trying to see it. Okay. There, was a, there was another one that was flipped over, but it was already kind of messed up when we put it on, and then it just continued to mess up even more. So we're going to say goodbye to Mr. Man, and we're going to move on to someone new. We're, we're not on a map. This is a PC. Um, yeah, this is the PC Master Race. Zero. What? I don't know, that's something people say. The, to like say that one console is better than the other. I don't know. Uh, this is a centipede that I found while I was digging under the rocks as well. I like this one. It looks a lot better when it's in focus. Yeah. It's like not super... Uh, <gasps> What's up, players? I just did it. See? No. <laughs> See? Like I just, you just like did it. Oh my god. I was just trying to greet him, make him feel welcome on oh, the that stream. Looks good. Hello. It's so fuzzy. I like him. He either looks like uh, an ovary, or he looks like he's like. Be our guest <laughs> tonight. <laughs> Were you ever in a production of Beauty and the Beast? 
No, stay on Esto. Um, I did other plays, but not Beauty and the Beast. I think that one, somebody, they, they might have done that a few years after I uh, left. Let's get a picture of this. This is good stuff. Definitely. You can make it lighter, right? But yeah. you can't make it darker. You're right. Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Let's, let's I can it. fix it. Okay, good. I'll fix your mistakes. No one will know. Yeah. Well, I mean, these You'll people, know. These, I mean, I'll know. These people will know. I thought she was having heartburn. <laughs> Uh, Fractal Canvas wants to know, is beam intensity the same thing as beam width? Uh, they're similar. It's the test scan microscope and they use beam intensity as a, as a slightly different meaning, but it's comparable to the beam width. So the norm, normal beam intensity on the microscope is 10, that's like the default size, and um, the closer we get in, the finer we want to make it, and so we can make the beam intensity a little bit lower. It's not a one-to-one -one relationship with the beam width. Someone said up here, Armadillo Day, much better than Roly Poly. I'm going to have to disagree with you. Um, I thought they should have been called Roly Pillipedes. Pillipedes? We had centipedes and millipedes and pillipedes. Mm, That's me. Pill, pill feet? It, that cactus horns. They do look a little bit like cactuses, uh, having seen cactuses. It's like the talking moose, yes. Her chemist says she's used the SEM every day for the past two weeks and she's sick of it. 3D octopus. Well, what do you, you, you know we were doing SEM stuff in here, you know, like, we didn't mean to torture you with it if you're sick of it. Um, if you give me something uh, to talk about, I will entertain you in ways other than SEM. I can talk about anything for as long as you need. I oh, won't boy. shut up. Trust me. For chemists, how do they not crunch under the vacuum? Uh, well, these have hard exoskeletons, and so they they don't crunch under pressure or lack of pressure. Then they explained atmospheric pressure and like all those lines. It's under yeah, it's a high vacuum. 3D octopus says, why study biology when the heat death of the universe will inevitably occur? Well, um. it's going to be a while, and I'm probably not going to be around for that. So I'm going to go with what I can while I can. Mm. Why do anything when you're going to die, you know? It's, a, it's in high back mode, actually. While Ella Melo, like 2050, you're going to burn with us. Nah, uh, that's when all the dangerous stuff starts happening. Not the heat from death. Now, I might not be around. I mean, that's a little ambitious. You like run eight miles a day. Yeah, I mean I'd be eighty though. So I mean, even if I was around, I might not be around. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Igor, talk about the North Pole, please. That's great. I actually do have a degree in North Poleology. Um, allow me to allow me to explain. Um, so when the North somebody, Pole, somebody gave Frank Thomas a shout out, right? Was that Pacific Plan? Potentially. Um, so when the North Pole was formed, that was formed by this, uh, an all-knowing creator called, um, oh boy. Nicholas Clausius. Um, the name has changed a little bit over the years, but it, uh, I liked him better when he was Krampus. Got down to Krampus. That was, that was the antithesis. He's the, he's like the, the Christian devil, and Nicholas Clausius is the, is God. Um, um. Uh, peed horns. Spirit so. override likes your Nic Nicholas Clausius. Nicholas Clausius. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's some feet. Oh my god, what has happened here? Did you pick all of its <laughs> legs off? What did you do? They just like crunched off a little bit. I, I would like to just make, Look, what? for the record, I want everybody to know when I gave her the centipede, the legs were on it. That is true, but listen, listen. Look, you can watch the trail of like feet. It's like a trail of blood, but there's no blood or anything. Oh feet trail, God. feet trail, and then you get to the other half of the body, the torn half. With all the legs ripped no, off. No, 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 not this all. This is what Mallory does not in all. her spare time. She's like, I'm studying for exams right now, and he's making me mount these things, and she just like rips the legs off of them one at a time with tweezers. Wait, is that its head right there? I... That's its tail. Really? Are you what? sure? What, do you think it has a fuzzy antennas on its butt? Isn't there something that has two heads? No. 
nothing really. Not in the world. I mean, there's like monsters that have two heads. Are you thinking like an Eden? Or... Wait, what if someone is like a a uh, a Siamese twin? Okay, but that is sort of two organisms that are merged together. Nay, I have to disagree. Well, then how could they separate some of them? What did they do then? Mm. <laughs> He's so handsome, he doesn't need all his legs. <laughs> oh, my nose. Stop doing that. Mother-daughter relationship. I don't understand what you were referring to. Um, I'm a little slow today. <laughs> this enemy did a bit. Yeah, Sarah saw it. I'm not on the path of destruction. <laughs> Separating organisms. Dr. Chemist says she likes the idea of you pulling the legs up one at a time more. <laughs> nah, they just kind of crumbled up. I was panicking, actually. I was like, no, 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 no. When I'm alone, um, the things that I tell myself, the conversations I have, such fine hand control. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem, really. I'm like trying to touch it, I'm like. There are worms that have two heads, no? I don't know, maybe. Please confirm. I've never burnt an ant with a magnifying glass. One is the glass. head head and the other is the butt head. I think that's, uh, <laughs> I think that's how it works. Dr. Stone, you make a great mother. I do? Yeah. Thank you for for your mothering ability. Did I mother you? Um, how would you define mothering? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, in my case, it was the lady who did my washing when I was young. Mm. Let's see. You talk to dead arthropods. I have make relationships specific like them. Um, I'm a relationship-based individual. I like to meet new people, and I just happened to meet this young man, or woman. I can't really see the legs are covering it. <laughs> we, don't, we don't know, and... Uh... <laughs> Undergrads pipetting for the first time is hilarious. I can say that because my hands still get shaky pipetting my standard curve. Um, I actually dropped my biochemistry concentration with chemistry because I was looking at other people pipetting for the first time, and I realized I couldn't do this anymore. It was horrific. Um, pipetting? Yeah, and with like a, a an electronic pipette or two, like an automatic pipette. You couldn't do it? They couldn't do it. Oh, you couldn't watch them do it? I couldn't well, watch them not do it, and I couldn't watch them uh, take... You thought, I take, want to be a professor who watches people do this wrong all day long, every day. Well, I just... <laughs> I couldn't watch the top of the... I don't know. It hurt. I couldn't watch them hold it, hold the electronic pipette like this and then decide, after being instructed many times not to do it, go. Oh, dump the stuff up into the chamber that yeah. you're not supposed to do? And every time I'd be like, I'd be like, hmm. but I'm, I'm quite quiet in class, so I can't really. Uh, you didn't get all up in their I didn't, face? I didn't tell them off, no. Uh, well, how are they ever going to learn if you don't yell at them? Um, I think <laughs> scent, scent butt, scent butt, scent Buttipede. Buttipede. Um, I think if anyone the that I go to the class um, Whoa. Legless body. Nice. Hey, mind of a snail. We were looking at snails. Mind of a snail. I was just explaining your uh, your generational history. Um, hello. I like that hole. I like this because it looks like pizza in a way, if I close my eyes really hard. I don't want to know what you put on your pizza. I actually had pizza. Is this a cactus I had pizza, pizza yesterday. I had pizza yesterday. I put uh, pepperoni. That does not look like a pepperoni pizza. Well, it does from Aza. What? The mozzarella slices. Oh, OK. Yeah. I put. You went uh, to Aza? Yeah, I did. You didn't give me anything? Uh, this I is was where you ripped the centipede in half. Right? I didn't rip it, it fell. Here's where you ripped it apart. Oh, you can see where the legs used to go. There's yeah, that's that's what I want to pick. That's what I want to picture. There's a of. socket right there. I'm just really bad at centering. I'm gonna give someone like a. Yeah. There's a leg socket up at the top left. 
I know, I'm excited. Uh, but no, I got pepperoni, spinach, and tomatoes, and I've never really eaten like tomatoes on anything, but I panicked when they asked me if I wanted anything else, so I just said tomatoes. Wait, what did you get on it? I got pepperoni, spinach, and tomatoes. Sun-dried tomatoes? Not sun-dried, but I tried sun-dried, and I was like, those are kind of good. I got like I got original. I got almost built the pizza that I get when I go to. Are you kidding? uh, Oh my god, twinsies! I'm not touching you. Okay, okay. We covered this. That'll do it. Haven't touched. You're not touching my pinky, especially. It's way too intimate. I had pizza last night with prime rib on it. Prime rib. F in the chat. SF to pay respects. You can at least do the elbow high five. No, I don't do those. Um, I only do that to myself. <laughs> <laughs> you should do the one where you put your elbow to your forehead. I won't do this. <laughs> I won't play this game. No, everybody does that now. They just put their elbow to their forehead. You can't do it. I know you can't. I won't be fooled. <laughs> uh, do you like a? You should do a dab. That's what you should. That's a kids your age cute. Well, I'm gonna do like a miniature dab. A mini dab? Like, okay, my hand, my hands would be like. Keep those things away. My from hands me. would be like this. So if I do like. This, I'll go. Oh, okay. You used your thumb as your. Yeah, arm, as my like bent arm. arm. Yeah. yeah. It works. It works. Thumb dab. Yeah. You saw it here first. If it catches on, I want ten dollars every time someone does it. Or whatever Mariah Carey gets whenever they play, all I want for Christmas is you. I want the equivalent. Don't they say you shouldn't put anything in your ears smaller than your elbow? (laughs) I don't... Not like you have many legs of a centipede. (laughs) (laughs) Your interpretive dabbing is... I mean, it's the content Mind of snail like here for. See, this is why my degree, I understand them. <laughs> Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Annie, are you okay? Oh, Cthulhu, thank you for the follow. I don't know if we got you. We got you now, though. I really want Mallory to think about this. What do you want me to think about? It takes a lot of power for About me. not putting stuff smaller than your elbow and your ears. Mmm. Well, Sarah, um, I, uh... Elbow ears, yeah. Yeah, my headphones are about that big, I don't know. Ear socket? I mean... Go back. They don't want you putting a Q-tip in your ear, but they also probably don't want you having gross stuff in your ears. So It just mashes it in there, but the stuff that it doesn't mash in there, it gets on the Q-tip, so it's kind of like a reward, you know? <laughs> What's the reward? What you pull out? Yeah, Mary treasure? I guess. <laughs> um, belly play. Now we gotta move on. I'm spending too much time. I'm, t- I'm, so, oh, I'm so I'm so slow. I'm like uh, I'm like two miles per hour. Silly me. We've got other insects to rip the legs off. We got of. a, a millipede. Oh, look at the structure on that. The plate. Hey, Mallory. Sally. Hey, you did got that. The subscribe. Mind of a snail. Thank Mind you. Mind of a snail. The subscription. Thank you very much. My brother in arms, in shells, I say. I'll be sending you something. Really? Yeah. A snail, mayhaps? Uh, a nice SEM image that you could use as a desktop mm. or a phone thingy. This is somewhat fetal in my mind. I mean... This is like the origin of the universe, kind of. Millipedes are cool. Now, hold on. This is the main event. It is? Look at this thing. He looks like he's had a day. He's like, uh, <laughs> exam week's finally over. I'm just gonna curl up here and stare with a dead eye stare anyone, at his face. Anyone who had final exams, what was your, uh, your, your like, post-exam activity? Because mine was, it was Indolor literally just, know. what are we gonna name the military? I just drank some water. What are we gonna name it? Bold of you to think that we have the power to name it. Anyway, Franklin. Franklin? Mm, yeah, that'll do. You know what? 
I like this. It's fetal. It's like imagery or something. I think we should name it after Andalore. We'll call it Franklin Andalore Roosevelt. I like that. Where's Andalore? Oh, there it is. Uh, in honor of you. Post final, I came to visit with you two. Really? Party. That's true. She came, like, the other day she came in here after she'd finished her final. You can retake most exams anyway. Excuse me? What do you mean? I don't think you can retake your exams in my classes. You can't retake your exams well, in any classes. let me rephrase that. You can retake it. It just requires you to take the whole class over again. And then you can take it as many times as you like. But I think the university shuts it down after three tries. But I'm really? maybe wrong about that. Mm. After the second time, you can't improve your grade anymore. The F goes on the report card. That's fair. That's very fair. I bet Jans is about to be like, yeah, actually, in Europe. Yeah, that's, in Europe. In, in Europe. That's, in Europe, we um, fail our driving exam 30 times, and then finally when we pass it, it's fine. Yeah. He's like, he's like in Europe, actually, <laughs> you can um, take it as many times as you want. Yeah. It's true. No, it's true. Yeah, yeah, that's what he said. You're on it. <laughs> How many times can you take the class? If you pass it each time? Well, I think you can take it more times if you'd like. Really? I'll take philosophy the Twilight Zone again. No, I won't. Um, you know, I'm going to teach diatomic taxonomy again in the fall, probably, if you want to take it again. Oh, boy. If you're in my schedule, maybe. Maybe I'll just go sit in there. Because I've already taken the class. I'll just like sneak in there like a uh, like um uh, like um like um like um uh, Doctor Yost. Oh yeah, that's good. You still have one more assignment to grade. Oh, I thought you said meant turn in. I'm like, it's actually Saturday, so I don't think they're allowed to give you more assignments. Yeah. The university loves your money. They encourage you to take it twice at least, especially if you pass it. What a girl wants, what a girl needs. Hey, it's Dirty Smith. Jerry Smith, what's up, player? What's good? What's going on? I said it again. You did? I said all three. <laughs> did you get a like in there and an oh my god? Yeah, I could. Um, if I worked really hard, I'll get him in. Uh, guys, what should I have for dinner? I know it's 2 o'clock, but here we go. I haven't graded anything yet. Really? I'm sorry. You're going to be... Because half of the... Uh, uh, I had a project in his class... BT dubs. That was our final. Um, you went to BW3s? Well, you have centipede. Oh, see. oh, it's millipede, but I forgot okay. to change it all. Um, well, no. Millie Rock. It's misspelled Millie. I thought we were going to call it Franklin. Shit. I'll get him when he has a suit on. I'll right, rotate this a little bit. I feel like you're going to be disappointed in my work, but I really did try my best with how it's a new species and everything. I really did. Um, I'm, a, I'm aware with what your best is like. It's fine. Oh my god. They just made it worse. Yeah! I like that he's standing. You like him upright? Yeah. He looks like a deranged inchworm. That's okay. <laughs> he looks like he's plotting. Look at this little... <laughs> da -da -da. Get mac and cheese like a real American. Mm, who said that? If it's Jan's, I'm going to bully. Cheese pizza. That, that was an option yesterday. Uh, yes, that's an option sometimes. I've seen mac and cheese pizza before. Have you ever eaten it? No. Neither have I. I probably would. I think it'd be okay. I like mac and cheese. I think it'd be interesting. I, I mean, don't... it's got noodles, and it's got cheese, and then sometimes you can sprinkle cheese on the cheese. Yeah. I feel like... Two cheese. Two cheese. Of course Jan's would say that. Oh, that's what we should call them. Tucci. Uh, Tucci's. What is this creature? Armani. Thank you for coming. This is a millipede. Um, it doesn't actually have a thousand legs. Yeah, I learned that a long time ago. Uh, but it's named um, as though it has, it has more legs than centipedes, though. I think um, early on when people were naming them, they were just like, that's, it's got to be like a thousand. That's, that's like a hundred or something. <laughs> Dude, that's so and many. Then they got to the next one and they were like, man, it's got like at least 
twice that, so it's got to be like a thousand legs. Yeah. Um, the no, the one with the most legs, I think, is a six hundred. It's a lot. It's a big number. What are you saying? There's one that has the most legs. What are you? Are you talking about like the a mil- trilopede? The millipede with the most a legs. A bazillipede? No. <laughs> How many people are in a Brazilian? <laughs> I love George Bush content. The creature before you has been through the gauntlet of university exams. And now. Up to 750 legs. Yeah, that's the one. It's from California. Mm -hmm. My sister could go catch one. She'd probably look at it and be like. Still doesn't, still doesn't get to a thousand. Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing. Wikipedia. Wikipedia is actually a pretty okay source. It's just you. It's not a direct source. That's why you're not supposed to quote it. Yeah, it's a compilation. Mm-hmm. Compilation of sometimes gibberish, though. Yeah. So I mean, you should check what you read there. But in general, it's a relatively accurate. Yeah, my nerd is now notice that there's a mite in the picture and that the centipede is. Uh, sorry, the millipede is, this is mind making control. eye contact with it. It's like a Baroque painting, you know? <laughs> it's like, oh. Let me tell you about is, my week. This is the hand of no, God. No, let me tell you about my week. <laughs> Best place to get your four sources on the topic. They are talking to each other, a painting. Primary versus secondary. So there I was under a rock. <laughs> So this one day, I was under a rock. So the eye was. And I was totally minding my own business in the dark. I want to do a horrible... Where did it go? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it it disappeared. <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> um, what is it? Franklin and Delore Roosevelt. <laughs> I hope that's... There it is. Surprise! <laughs> you didn't see that, guys, but uh, that was quality entertainment. Uh, Wait, can you go to the other one? No, 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 no. Oh, the millipede. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to... You want a picture of it, like, wrapped around? No. You want a picture of its mouth? Oh, look at the, Look at its head. I it also has a dead-eyed stare. Well, I think it's because it's dead, and it has an eye, so... Look at the face. It's got cheeks. It's like beakish. It's got cheeks. It reminds me of your... Um, it looks like a bird. It reminds me of your costume. Yeah. It looks like a bird. What a girl wants. What I could rearrange wants. my costume so that it looks oh, like yeah. actually a millipede. That would be amazing. Would it... Is that the word you'd use for it? I, mean, I wanted the overlapping plates. Oh, okay. okay like okay. a zoom in on. This I can do. This I can do. You want like some dimension to it, or you That's just good want right okay, there. Perfect. maybe a brightness contrast thingy? Mm. What a girl wants, what a girl needs. It's happening. It looks good. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't I'm panic. Already panicked. Oh. Hold on. Let's let it calm down. Maybe move on. I don't think it's gonna work. I think it's too fat. Yeah. It's okay. We accept you for who you, oh, you are. You skipped over all those other things. Shoot. Don't look. Don't look at that. Pretend you didn't see that. Pretend you didn't, you didn't see what was on the other one. It, that was a surprise. Look at that creepy thing. This looks like a wizened old something or another. You always think the roly pullers look wizened and old. They know more than we do. They're like they're like elders. We should respect. They know them. how to curl up. That's I that's I can kind of curl up. I can curl up into like a surprisingly small thing. I could probably fit in a suitcase if I tried hard enough. So if anyone does want to like try and human traffic me, I mean. Um, can I do the reverse of that? Yeah. Can you like not roll up? No, I mean like uh, just like export you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just send my luggage to Mexico here. I'm not going. No, no, no. Go, go. He's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Put it on the belt. 
Um, we're gonna have fun in the sun. Yeah, that looks good. By the royal decree. <laughs> beach house. Oh, hi, Mike. I'm we're a many-legged horror. <laughs> Milliard spin. <laughs> yeah. Toucan Sam. Not Toucan Sam. Dirty Smith packed their luggage today. For what? Where are you going, Dirty Smith? I would be Canada's gift. I would be a gift to Canada. I yeah. would I would be like Justin Trudeau's right hand woman. I Except for not let's not use the hand by force. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of the hand content. I'm gonna end up like uh, who was it? It was Anna Kim last time who was like <laughs> Better than your my being six right feet. Foot man. I'm I'm Justin Trudeau's right foot man. <laughs> Footman, that's a real word. What it am is. I doing? Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. He looks like he's got a sleeping mask on. Apparently does. I mean, <laughs> he's like he's like hi <laughs> vacuum time. Did anybody turn down the noise on that vacuum pump? I'm trying to sleep. Oh yes, slow load means we're getting the good stuff. Why, what for? Welcome. Yeah, welcome. Welcome to the, what should this be called? We're flipping over rocks. That's the a, show. That's what it's called. The, the bug show. Welcome to the gun show. The, the weaker I make my arms, the funnier it is to me. <laughs> welcome to the gun show. Welcome to the gun show. Look at my head drunk. <laughs> That's a good look. That's a good That's look. A, it is a good look. Yeah. Why? Okay. Well, hold on. Why is this the image? That's the just chatting image. She's drinking coffee and talking. <laughs> I thought it was like one of those like YA novels where it's like she's like drinking coffee and it's like like a, the book thing and it's about her um, dive into I don't know being a college student or something. I mean, you could make up whatever story you like that goes with it. Yeah. No one would stop you. I mean, well. This looks crusty, I won't lie. Uh, why what for says, first time, time trying out just chatting. Are you getting more trolls? Mm. Uh, same yeah. trolls as normal, mm. I think, which is not many. Yeah, if anyone watching wants to cause some issues, be my guest. Yeah, I've got my sword out, it's no problem. I can ban anybody. Uh, the What is this? Is this I a polling? Know. I think it's an isopod, yeah. I so pooed. <laughs> Got him. And this is isopod. We sometimes stream into just chatting when we feel like it. As when he knows, um, as some... when I'll be there. No. Yeah. Whoa. Sometimes I think it's just, uh, uh... you know, we want to be more science communication rather than analysis. So. Like that this i wonder looks like a cocoon a secret little area for someone to be interesting very very interesting how old are the bugs um these are bugs from recent like a year like less than a year old what is this some of them i found last week Whoa, a prehistoric it's creature. It's cute. Oh my gosh! It's a conspiracy. It's QAnna! <laughs> they were right all along. No, don't quote me on that. Uh, da -da -da -da. That is hairy. Someone needs to... Well, you know what, that's a personal choice. Yeah, they should pluck. It's just a little... Alright. Mr. Urologist got a troll the other night. It was hilarious but baffling at the same time. Really? Yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't really uh, Engage. You know, I didn't really care about trolls. I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna move on. They've got everybody needs to earn their living and they live under bridges and um, in order to cross the bridge you need to pay the toll. 
the, the troll toll. And, um, and that's their thing, you know. What? More millipedes? A lot of peds. Whew. I like worms. these worm people. Oh yeah, that's a worm if I've ever seen one. I don't know if that's a worm. Is uh, it a worm? It has to be a worm. Look at it. I guess it could be. It's totally worm-like. It looks like it's experiencing some shrinkage. Yeah, um, happens to the best of us. I'm sorry, I mean, man. if someone were going to troll, this would be the time. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone... <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> Anyone? Is there anybody out there? No, I like this fella. Judicraz wants to know, what's that furry ropey thing? Yeah, exactly. We don't know, because we did steal these. Um, I stole them, it was, it was my decision. These must be expensive fur millipedes. Look at his little... F oh my goodness. Look at his little, little climbers. It's like he runs around on tiptoes all the time. <laughs> like a little deer. That is the cutest freaking thing I've ever seen. Look at him. Isn't he precious? It's like when people have their like, they're like little rat dogs. <laughs> like little white dogs with like red crying eyes. They're like, isn't he precious? It's like... If anyone has a little rat dog out there, um, I'm not sorry. Hey, I'm sure you follow. love it, but I'm not sorry. All right, who is it? Peanut butter Jelly. mouthwash. Mm. Mm. That sounds um, rough on the dentist. You know, someone said that they brush their teeth with strawberries. I was like, I think that's literally the worst thing you could do. That's worse than eating hey. candy and not brushing your teeth, to really grind that in there. Judicrass wants to know, why don't other more macro species use silicon as shells like diatoms do? Great question. Um, well... Because it just did, they just didn't, right? I, I, I don't know. Um, there are some organisms that use silicon. I mean, the thing about studying diatoms is I don't study other things very much, and so I don't know why they do or don't do things. So diatoms made a good choice, I think, um, but maybe it's uh, maybe it's difficult to mineralize organically. Maybe it's a special sort of sequence of things that kind of allows you to mineralize silica. My mom just got doored in the Coles parking lot. That's she got she doored? Yeah, doored. Like door. somebody dinged her car with a door? Yeah. A door Is that what you call it? Being doored? Yeah, you call it, they doored your car. They what do you doored call it? your car? What do you call it? I don't know. Dinged your car, I guess. I use the same thing. It means the same thing. I don't park near anybody. Neither do I. I park as far away as possible just for giggles. Also, like, I don't know. Judicats wants to know, do diatoms, how do diatoms get their silicon? Do they dissolve rocks or do they just consume dissolved silicon? Uh, they get their silicon from the water in the form of soluble reactive silicon. They go. So it's in an ionic state and they pull it out of the water. Uh, they, they can, however, I will actually make one note. Um, there is some evidence that suggests that diatoms can get some silica from the material that they're attached to. So, um, like, plants, some plant cells have silica in them, and there's some suggestion that diatoms are capable of taking the silica out of the plants and utilizing it. And also, um, diatoms sometimes grow better under different kinds of rocks, so it's possible that they might be able to get some of the silica from the rock itself. Santa Claus. Uh... Maybe the energy needed to make silicon shells is high, so larger organisms can't make it practical. Yeah. It I, also might be a practicality issue, but there are some larger organisms that use silica. I think Sponges, it's... Sponges, for example. I think it's just what, like, maybe silica concentrations are too low for a larger species to properly absorb enough. In the ocean, that's probably true. 
Uh, in lakes, however, there's a lot of silica. Um, it's, it's definitely true in the oceans. Um, you have to be in certain areas, even diatoms have a hard time growing in the ocean unless they're in specific areas where silica is a relatively high concentration. If you go out into like deep ocean, middle, gyre sort of areas where there's not a lot of nutrients, uh, you know, where we throw our trash, uh, there's typically, uh, there's not a lot of silica out there and diatoms don't grow very well and neither does anything else that requires silica as a result. But. Uh, uh, in freshwater systems, silica is pretty abundant because it's in the groundwater um, as dissolved silica. And also, plants uh, uh, make phytoliths, which then dissolve in the water pretty readily. So, and that's a primary source for silica. So it's it's pretty easy to get it if you're in a freshwater system. I think most organisms probably evolved in uh, in the oceans, however. Mm. So, what are we looking at? We're just looking at some random stuff on these slides. Nothing like, no large specific things, I don't think. These are soil microbes. Yeah, doing soil their soil microbe things. Micro arthropods. Just doing their thing, thing in their do. You know how it goes, my people. This, uh, Jan says the Loch Ness Monster actually grows its own monocle. I kind of want to see that, you know? Uh, you know, I've got a diatom with a monocle. It's right there. Woo. It's mustachio. Is it mustachio? I like this. I like this. I like this. I like this. It looks like the stegosaurus from the land before time. Look at its mouth. There's eye, eye, mouth. It looks like the worms from Dune. Eye, eye, open up. newt mouth. Newt, newt. Newt. This is the proper, um, this is the proper. Look at Peachop's dropping science on people. He says in the ocean you generally need upwelling from the seafloor to bring nutrients up from the bottom. You know what else we keep in the sea? Uh, our underwater lair that we're building with peach ops. What? That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. What? What, an underwater lair? Why underwater? What, like, has the... Well, if you're going to be a thalassocracy, you need to put your base in the ocean. <sighs> and uh, also, I think there's a, it's a lot harder to find an underwater lair because so much of the underwater is unexplored. That's true. Things above this have any species absorbed and somehow used microplastics to their benefit. Don't bacteria, they don't absorb it, they eat it. There's, There's like, some suggestion that some algae have broken down microplastics. I don't think that they actually- I know bacteria, some bacteria do, for use sure. It. But I bet there are species that use the microplastics like caddisflies. They harvest things that are around them in and the water like use and they them as put like them in little, their little that's cute. nests. That's cute. Um, so look at or, that. Pollution isn't bad at all. Or uh, tintinids in the ocean. Probably there's some tintinids that would use plastics in their uh, loricas. I always wonder this plastic is natural. Not all plastic. I'm going to have to disagree with you on that one, Jeep. Um, normally... Mean, yeah. It's synthetic by design. I feel like I can make a solid argument that a plastic cup from McDonald's shouldn't is not natural. It's not natural. What part of that doesn't sound natural? The McDonald's part? It drifting in the ocean as a sea turtle comes up to, I don't know, use it as a hat or something. Oh, Pete Shop says things are going above on the surface aren't so well. Yeah. That's a good reason to to live under the, under the ocean. We should put. We should put more plastic in the ocean. Exactly. My thoughts exactly. Mind of a snail says big face behind the big nose. And I think they're talking about this sort of word. Is biodegradable equal natural? Mm, I think you can argue that everything is made out of things <laughs> from nature. If you... If you want to get down to the brass tacks, um, you can argue that anything is natural. But if, in my mind, if it can't like break down actively by just existing in an environment within a reasonable amount of time, and don't ask me to define reasonable because I am very tired and I don't want to. And um, I don't know. I'll just call those not natural. Yeah, the PLA in 3D printing is biodegradable, but it's not natural. But they do make some of those 3D printing plastics out of really weird stuff like algae or 
That's cool. Um, sometimes they use like snail shells and stuff uh, or corals. Ooh. They do have some natural materials that you can use in 3D printing, bioprinting, yeah. PLA and 3D printing is biodegradable, not natural. Uh, if it came from a product that was, if it if the product was made using things from nature, then it's arguably natural. But that's a semantics. <laughs> Cigarettes are really natural. <laughs> Bummer, say. Uh, worm boy. Uh, I don't think cigarettes are natural, but vape, vaping definitely is. Warmy termy. Um, have you ever tried vaping? No. Neither have I. I've never tried smoking at all. I've never, like, inhaled. Other than water and n also nitric acid. Yeah, you inhaled nitric acid. Um, to be fair, it was probably like the, um... How do we know whether we're looking at the head hole or the butt hole? I didn't say that, I just said wormy termy, so... Okay, I'm just curious. Which yeah. one's the mouth? I mean, I'd like to think this one. Because this one just seems a little buttish. You know, it's like on the bottom. I thought the other one looked a little buttish, to be fair. Really? I thought this was more mouthish. <laughs> We're gonna have to agree to disagree. Well. Da -da 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 -da. I want one more worm. Show me the worm. That looks like a sour gummy worm. It does look a little bit like a gummy worm. Gum I like the mites with the spiky gummy shells. Gummy worm right there. This one? Yeah. I'll go picture this one. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. I like this because he looks like a, a one of those turtles in Mario. I won't specify which Mario because it could be you any. You mean Mario Kart? Well, I mean, there's. It, Do these turtles have? You mean a Koopa? Yeah, a Koopa. Are they turtles? Yeah, they're like they're, they're turtle shells. Okay. Yeah. I think. Now you got me second guessing my Koopa knowledge. I will defer to. You. It looks like maybe you these samples because mm -mm. look how cracked that thing is listen i will have a breakdown live on stream anyone <laughs> interested ten dollars <laughs> you subscribe for two months right now she'll cry if someone subscribes for right two now. months i will cry right now and this is you really just have a stream where you eat and cry at the same i can time. do that you think i have shame i'll do it <laughs> no but like the greatest thing is that this is like really uh this mascara is fantastic for crying it's just so messy I it's start crying, a, it'll get everywhere. It's like Giuliani's, Giuliani's uh, hair grease. Yeah, yeah. It'll be great. Humans aren't natural then. No, we break down pretty easily. Take it from me. <laughs> um, <laughs> humankind didn't cause itself. Um, well, I guess if you make an argument numbers? that uh, uh, because humans are natural, everything they create is natural, then there's no such thing as unnatural. I think we have to have some boundary for where synthesis begins and when we talk about synthetic what do we mean i guess that boundary could be something that we could debate but i feel like if you take a product and you refine it that's probably not uh, a natural you know component anymore hot take natural is just a marketing tool <laughs> uh in advertisement terms yeah most definitely probably College student crying session sounds like it would be more beneficial than the regular study day de-stressors. I, <laughs> I, I did. I was shocked when I saw people who would like make streams of just them studying. I was like, that's the worst part of my day, <laughs> and you put it live. <laughs> people find that like, calming. I mean, I guess if you're like reading a nice book or something. I bet I could get people to watch me put a test together. That'd be fun. Especially my students. <laughs> you don't tell them the answer, though. We do remixing. Nothing is creating or destroyed. That's really philosophical, Pacific Plankton. Thank you for that take. Your schools have de-stressor resources. Um, I'm sure they do. Uh, I want the puppy one. Because if they're not going to give us... You know how the puppy one is like a joke about how it's just like, like what does that do for anyone? I mean, it's still a dog. It's still a dog. I mean, she... I think I see it as like I'm live, so people are watching me and keeping me accountable. That wouldn't work for me. Cinnamon says, in my opinion, the words natural and smart have lost their meaning. Mm. Uh, dumb still, we know what that means, though. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see me. You can't see me. We were told to just disappear into the forest. I don't know what you mean by that. Um, 
I'm gonna tell you, like, go on a hike. I'm gonna take this time. Oh, Shelly. Shelly. My first stuffed animal, its name was Snelly, so that's what I'm naming that. It was not a turtle, it was a cat. Was it a mite? No. A soil mite? It was a cat. Or an edit. I gotta hurry. Soil melt mite with a half shell cracked open? It was definitely a, a cat. What is this? Um, there's the, this is the, oh, 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 This is a mosquito. Uh, mosquito. Uh, mosquito. Mosquito. Can you zoom in on its eyes super close? Whoa. Mosquito eye. It's looking at you right now. He's feeling. Everyone out there? My mosquito's watching you. Zoom in. Enhance. Keep going. Oh my god. I'm panicking. I think you've gone too far. It's okay. Let's back it up. No one will know. This is beautiful. This is fantastic. It is a good look. It's called fashion. I wish I could find some without any, like, grime. What? I'm gonna find, like, a little area without any grime. Okay, Without any grime? Good luck with that. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go back up here. This is like good with all the... Fantastic, 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 fantastic. We should just, uh... Heck yeah! I should print these in my red bubble store. Just t-shirts. These are so blurry. What'd you do that for? Ugh. I thought it was in focus. It needs to be moving a little bit. Is it? Let's zoom out a little bit. They won't even notice. If in doubt, zoom out. It's looking better. There we go. Let's take a peek. See, look. Oh, it's got lines. Yeah. That looks good. I'll zoom out a little bit more. They'll never know. They're literally what I literally just unfocused. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Um, you turned the wrong knob. I did. I did. I did. I'm going to simply pass away. Nice, nice. That looks like it'd probably be okay. It would suffice. We do what we can. Shop says they have a plush down flagellate. I have a plushy water bear. Hexagons are the best of guns. You listen to high. Judah Kres, what is this? Where are we? It's a mosquito. Where am I? Who are you people? It's a mosquito. I'm gonna those do are, some ASMR. Those hairs are its eyeball hairs. When it looks like you got lines. Why are we? Yeah, but that kind of makes it exciting in a way, you know. I don't know about that. It's kind of cool, right? It like it's like makes it look like it's all cool. I feel like maybe I'm gonna have to fix it in post. I can't really fix the lines myself. Wait, hold on. You know what I could do. Oh, it's at seven already. Um, we could go to. You want to go to six, so then it's like smoother. Can you give it a try. I think that's gonna be better. Yeah, less lines. Fewer lines. It's like well, here now. It's like closing your eyes when you like don't want to. It's like when you have a problem, just. It's gone. Is it? Yes. Or like when you have a, you don't want to see something you like. Oh yeah, still got a lot of lines. It's okay. You guys pretend. wants to know what the hairs are. They're they're sensory, aren't they? Like chemosensors. The or little chemo hairs, uh, again, there's they're, yeah, they're ways for them to sort of sense their environment. Mosquitoes can't focus their eyes like people. Instead, their eyes stay open to help them detect quick movements. Yeah, I think the hairs tell them like. Uh, wind, like so it can feel 
wind on their face. They want to feel free. Uh, they want to hang off the edge of the Titanic with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Well, Kate Winslet. I was gonna go with Kate. Yeah. I mean, Leo's kind of a weirdo, but uh, I'm yeah. almost out of his age range. It's kind of rough. You're out of his age range. Almost. Um, you better get on that. <laughs> mosquito. I boo. I boo. Uh, that's how they can feel the wind blowing, I think, and, uh, and, like, you know. Like that one gif of a cow. When it has a wig on and it's hair blowing in the wind. Right. <gasps> it's something to do with feeling. With but there may feeling. also be some chemosensors associated with it. Alright, so how should I Are go about... Are you just going to do an overview? Should I? I think you should. I'll do it. I'm going to do... I'm going to focus on this leg. Just these little hairs. Focus on his leg hairs. A lady. Oh, the, the cross leg. It's a lady. It's coming right there. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. It's like, it's kind of, it's kind of risque, if I do say so. I mean, mosquitoes don't shave their legs. That's the right. They're, these are probably European mosquitoes. Mm. Do you guys ever look into ice samples from the poles? No, we don't. But some people do. We can't. Uh, we can't keep our samples cold because um, our SCM does not have a, a cryoplate. Uh, as I mentioned before, on previous stream, uh, cryoplates can be added to scanning electron microscopes, which allow you to look at things like uh, snowflakes or ice. Um, what are you doing with your face on the microphone? Are you whispering things to I was going to whisper. Good evening. That might have been too soft for them to hear. Oh no, it's never too soft. Hmm. How far can you zoom? At least 10. You, can, you can't see atoms, no. Not with this scanning electron microscope. It, uh, we can get up to about 150,000 times and still see things clearly. We put it down to nanometers, but by then it's it gets kind of blurry. Teosigmeniac, what's up, baby? Ten zoomies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we actually measure things in zoomies. Hey, we got a new follow. Thanks for playing, eighty-eight. Thanks for coming. Yeah, welcome. Eighty-eight. In. Thank you for the follow. You won't regret it. You won't uh, regret it. Your follower number six hundred and eighty-seven. But you're number one in our hearts. Yeah. Uh, whoever gets six six hundred ninety, call oh. me. Win. Win low gummy. Win long Lon gummy. Win long gummy. Thank you. You're six eighty eight. Yeah. Um. But you're still number one in our. Whoever hearts. is six ninety, you are number one, also in our hearts and also in everyone else's minds because that's freaking cool. And it's funny. And I think it's funny. I'm definitely having spaghetti for dinner. Spaghetti. And when I say spaghetti, I mean a noodle with red sauce. I don't mean spaghetti noodles, though I do have spinach, like, like spinach spaghetti noodles. What are you talking about? I'm having spaghetti for dinner. I understood that part. Yeah. The, the rest of it kind of be lost oh, beyond. Oh, okay. Um, well, you know, we were talking we about had, spinach. I have, I eat like the, the ones that the noodles that are made out of like vegetables. Are they made out of vegetables or they just have some vegetables in it? I'm pretty sure they're made out of like... You're talking like... So, so, like the tri... Noodles? Where they take zucchini and they make zucchini into a noodle? Or are you talking about... They, like, okay, they have vegetable in it. Yeah. Among other things. Mosquito. Um, but yeah, no, I'm telling you that I'm not going to eat long noodles. I'm eating... Rotown noodles. What? Rotini? Yes. Didn't we have a whole thing where you had to learn pasta? I feel like we did. We did. I'm just so tired. Why are you um, tired? Were you up late? Yeah. Uh, this one's going to be called Body Yadi 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 Yadi. In honor oh, of. Do I want to become famous? I don't. But thank you for asking. Hey, I, I do leave that in there. Wait, 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 wait. I deleted it already. No! Uh, next time, I 
am I gonna? Next time I will let you become famous. How am I gonna be famous? This time, you're gonna what remain anonymous. What on earth are you? It looks like its head exploded and was replaced by a hair. Yes. This is what I've been waiting for. It's overgrown head mold. It looks a bit fuzzy. What's happened here? <laughs> it's like a car accident. <laughs> We like come across like an ancient civilization that all the people are gone. I don't know what's happening right now. I'm just putting together the where their head should be on this bug. There is a mass of things. Maybe it's mold that was growing, and we just on the SEM stuff. Mm -hmm. Anything can happen. I don't think anything can happen. Well, anything could happen. It just usually doesn't. I only want a six for this one. I don't value this picture. Pacific Plankton was up late building portals into the nether. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy. Fettuccine and meatballs. Heck yeah. I love fettuccine Alfredo. Do you? I love it. I God, I love it. I love it from Fredo Fazoli's. Sauce is not a good sauce. Fazoli's. You're making it worse by putting it in there. Now the spaghetti sauce from Fazoli's. Now that is absolute garbage. But uh, the um, yeah, look at that. It's like pulling on the gold around it. It definitely was not there. Legend, Legend Rum Runner. Thank you. You are number six hundred ninety. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Have I got news for you? Uh, thank you, Legend Run Runner. You have made my day. Uh, you are the best person here. Jonathan Gamescast, hello. We are so close to 700. That's scary. Too many people. I might get a little scared. Boom Boom Head. Boom Boom, boom Head. Boom Boom. Oh. I like your names. Thank you. I like making fun of them, too, but I also like them. Thank you. That's how I file things on my laptop. Like, unless I'm turning it in. If I'm turning it in, no, then No, you I'll... turned in stuff to me that was named like that. Well... Uh-oh. Was that a new follow? C. Swigum. Oh. Hello. They've been here all along. They just decided to follow. Hey, Jonathan's Games cast. Do you know Jonathan? No, I don't know who that is. They know you. Really? Yeah, yeah he knows my name. I'm going to take a shot in the dark and say that his name is Jonathan. Correct me if I'm wrong. These are just I a think bunch of little... his name is Jonathan. Jonathan. I'll call you Than. It's a nickname. My name's Than, as in Jonathan. That was a good show. Wait, are we on seven? We are on the last one, we yes. We wrapped all the way around? Yes. To the Soil Knights? Yes. Oh my goodness, we've been looking at so many things. I know. Today has just been all creepy crawlies. I hope you guys have liked the creepy crawlies. If you didn't, that's an opinion that one can have. Pero, I want to say that I don't support it. I unfollowed and followed to be 690. That's even better. I respect that so much. Uh, oh, C I guess so they can... also get to be 690 because we would have then gone to six. 89 and back up to 600. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. That's really tight. He's just having a nap. Uh, what I call a power down nap. He's sleeping. <laughs> He's, He's sleeping. He's power down. Congratulations on all the follows. Question. Well, you know, we're hoping for more. Uh, we're hoping it doesn't end at 690. Um, I was sort of thinking maybe when we get to 695, I was just going to stop streaming. So. Really? If it gets up to a thousand, just never show up again. I feel like disappear off the face of the planet. I feel like maybe that's enough. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna unplug at that point. I'm just gonna stop. Just say no. <laughs> if anyone else tries to follow, I'll just say no. <laughs> I will start kicking people off of the follow list. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna okay. call out some of those early followers who don't do anything. They don't show up anymore. Yeah. Who was an example of that? Um, I can't think of any. Neither can I. Glockle's been pretty shifty. A, if you're listening out there, I'm thinking about you. And not in a good and way. And not in a good way. 
Eleanor, exactly. She went home like a freshman in college does when it's time for her to go home because she can't live on campus. Unbelievable. The nerve. My, so you know how we're not coming back to campus for a very long time? I'm going to be here. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, well, the students aren't. Anyone who lives on campus can't really, like, be here unless they live in 500 Wabash. Um, I can be here. You don't live on campus. I know that I'm leading up to a story. My cousin lives on campus. She decided to live on campus as a senior. <laughs> and she has to, what a casual. <laughs> yeah, cash. Um, she decided to live on campus her senior year, even though she knew she'd have to be in town to student teach this whole time. And now she sent me a message that I knew was coming where she said, Mallory, can I stay here in your apartment for like a month? I was like, <sighs> Did you say okay? Yeah, I said okay. okay. Well, am I going to say no to my family? Yes. Okay. They're the people you can say no. She's not really coming for a month. It's just going to be two weeks, but it's it's still a lot. Uh, but she behaves, and most of the time she leaves on weekends and stuff. Only if you pay rent. Nah, my sister stayed at her house and didn't have to pay rent. So. The big list of people. What is it? Do they have a follower? Yeah. I'm trying to get to the first followers. Universities after the undergrads leave, it's the best time ever. Libraries yeah, are so quiet. Said that. Yeah, it's so easy to get up. Is it Jonathan? Will she mask? Um, if she's gonna live in my apartment, I would hope that she does. Um, I really don't know what she does. I don't see her with any regularity. Spider mite. Spider mite. Spider mite. I'm gonna give a whole song in this. Spider mite. Spider mite does whatever a spider mite. Spider mite does. <laughs> no, it's like the other mite. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know what she does, but um, no one's gonna be in town for her to do anything with, so I really don't know. But she's well behaved, and she was really nice about asking about it. But I'm just so used to living alone, and I was hoping to. Uh, sneak away from my, so, my much larger family. I scrolled down to see who my first Ooh. followers are. Who was your first follower? It was me. Except for you unfollowed and then refollowed? Yeah, because I wanted point. to hear the noise. And as a result, you're no longer my first follow. You know who's my first follower? Pacific Plankton. You're so close. Is it Dell? Dell Maximum. Dell. My first follower now. King Dell. And I did give up my position for you just to let you know that I know your place, okay? Dell was my first follow, followed by A Tiny World and Pacific Plankton. Pacific, third place, really? Yeah. Judah Cruz, you guys are at ISU in Terre Haute. We are. Are you near? Indiana State. I won't be here for much longer, but. Serial Box. You won't be here Thank for you. Much you go to Rose? Mr. Certainly. Really? Wait, are you guys dating? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you gave me quite a spook. I was like, uh, uh. <laughs> what do you do over there? My sister went to Rose. Does it swing from a web? No, it can't because it's a mite. You know, some of you Rose chemical engineering. Wow. Huh. Huh. Third place is a good place? Third place is second it's, to second place. Those aren't places. Those are just people who follow the order that they follow. You're people. not in the U.S.? Where'd you go? Come back. You know, some of your students from your school, they come and, they come and use our, our SEM because we're, we're big dogs. Are you showing off your guns again? Yeah. Like, check out the armpits on my shirt. Check out these guns. Luckily, I didn't wear my other sweatshirt. He's got a big hole in it. Tracer. Well, a tiny world. Pacific plankton. Rice, who we haven't seen in, like, forever. My friend Hannah. Tracer, man. And then, dangling. Mm. Number dangling. six. Dangling. dangling. That's pretty good. You're Number not here. Number six. And you know what? Does it say breaded shrimp or does it say dangling? It says bread shrimp now. Oh. But you know what about that? <gasps> I don't have pit stains. Pit stains. 
Uh, Dangling asked us to put a roly poly on the SCM. And she didn't come. Where is Dangling today? I'm freaking believable. Does she have to work? Because if she doesn't have to work, I'm, that's it. All caps guy? Tropical Geek? She'll have to watch the replay. Mm. You know what's on Tropical Geek is in the top 20? Tropical Yawns. Geek is in... Judah Cruz, where'd you come from? They're in the top 20. Do you have a license to carry those guns? No, I am in the U.S. of A, baby. Uh, it might oh, be a tick. I really uh, don't know what it is. More like 23 yeah, or something no. like that. Pretty lovely early. this time of year. Never been there. I really don't know if it's Pretty lovely this time of year. I think it's lovely in general. Ooh, we're still close though. They're not even coming back. Yawns? Yeah. Uh, I don't want to say good choice, but... Uh, Tropical Geek. Oh, Mika, up from the grave, I see. Um, Tickmite. Tickmite? Tick. It could just be a tick tick. Tickmite. Might tick. It's How much tick might a tick might tick if a tick top tight? Woo! I wasn't very convincing, Steve. Did it sound fake or something? Sound How much fake. tick would a tick it was like you might, might if a tick might could might tick? Okay, guys, ready? How much tick would a tick might? <laughs> might, <laughs> might, might. How much tick would a tick might might if a tick might could might tick? Nice. Uh, Gamecast wants to know why their tick that has legs. Um, and Tracer Man said thick might. He's pretty thick. Do you use double C's? Yeah. Nice. Nice. All right. Let's get let's get another one. Let's get another one. Let's get another one. Clocks might tick. Yeah. They might. Mister certainly. That's a good point. For sure, certainly. So my special says. Do do do. Hey, uh, we're in overtime. So uh huh. Ready to wrap up? Whenever you want. Okay. I want to picture this weird little alien-looking thing, and then I'll be done. I don't even know what that is. That's its mouth. So strange. Oh, well, maybe those are its legs. I used to dig up dirt as a child. Um, and eat it. Well, I ate ants. Yeah, I think you told us that before. Yeah. I was a child, though, so you guys can't judge me. Do you remember it? Um, it you know, I remember it in the way that you, like, barely remember, like, young childhood memories. Like, I remember living it but I don't remember it as a memory. I don't know. You don't remember crunching down on its exoskeleton? I remember... Savoring the taste I of ants? It didn't taste like anything. It tastes like formic I remember acid. one, I ate one that had another, um... It had, like, a little pincher thing on it. It pinched my tongue. What? Yeah, it hurt. That'll teach you. You were eating it, and it was eating you right back. Not, not coming back forever. I still have another year of undergrad, but not coming back until next year. Now we're at 693 followers. Come back. You, you got a come follow and, see me. and another one and another one and another one. And you didn't even say anything. Come and be my best friend. We got Cereal Box. I said I literally thanked Cereal Box. Mr. Certainly, thank you so much. Tracer Man, I'm in love with you. Uh, Luza, Lu, Lazadi. Lazadi. I don't think that's Lasagna. how it's Lasagna. 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 Dirt cup. A dirt cup would be a natural cup. Yeah. That'd be natural. <laughs> Biodegradable, if you will. You're welcome, Tracer Man. Um, I want to be Tracer. I'm already Tracer. What about Little Beaker? I'm already Little Beaker. What's that thing in the picture? Um, well, there are these things. They're like electrons. I don't know how to explain and it. The thing's sort of coming through the screen as. I think it's just like a little piece of mush that was there. I kind of like how it looks all glitchy. It's glitched out. It looks like a Grimes album cover. You guys like Grimes? I love Grimes. I mean, not her, like, attitude, uh, or particularly who she's dating, um, but... Brat Damon! Brat Damon! That's the first man who is on Mars! Bars, if you will. Yeah, it is on poop. Bars. In the form of potatoes. Yeah. Mm, well, yeah. Your family's not having Christmas? Mika. Mika, you know, uh, remember when Mika said that his parents didn't let him dress up? He'd never dressed up for Halloween. Yeah. 
That was a sad And story. then he was like, I eat, he's like, I'm eating cereal for dinner. No milk. <laughs> he, his life is him not getting a dress up for Halloween and eating no milk cereal for dinner. And then... <laughs> he likes the things the simple way. How about eyeball exfoliation? I don't know. Oh, the song, I listen, I'm going to listen to the song Violence on the way home. Uh, you know what? For Christmas, I I can't even focus on it until I'm done grading, and I've got so much grading to do. Um, and, you know, so like, there's no chance I'm even gonna look at anything for people to buy. Until is it, it's Monday all the grading is due on Tuesday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like Monday next week is when I start to look around of like, oh, that can be a human being and like do civil things like buy things for people so my whole family though is mad because they're like why won't you give us stuff to buy for you and I'm like because I'm I'm kind of busy like all the time doing my job and stuff and it's just not a priority for me you know plus they want me to give them something to buy and they're like you know Alrighty. give us something to buy but make it less than like forty dollars and I'm like, that, that's just not a thing with me. Like, if that's $40, I just buy it, you know? Right. And they don't want to spend the $7,500 I want for a new lens for some reason. For some reason. Tell. As we look upon the graveyard of dirt mites, <laughs> um, their bodies scattered everywhere as though part of some kind of uh, mite war, if you will. Much like the snail glacier war back about... 10,000 million years ago. Um, 10,000 million. Yes. Are we going to um, raid somebody? We're going to have to raid someone in a similar fashion to these dirt mites being raided. Um, yeah, elbows, Mallory. Well, I guess we could take some advice about who people want to raid. Um, you know, I've got a list of some people. Oh, uh, WD is the working distance. That's how far you are away from the um, hitting the cone, the pull piece in the scanning electron microscope. The uh, HV is the um, accelerating voltage. And if you can see all the way to the bottom of that little image, there's a thing on there that tells you the, um, the entire field of view, like what its size is. And then there's a scale bar off to the right, but uh, you can't quite see it because it's cut off at the bottom because uh, Mallory needs to move it up a little, and she's not doing it, so. Move what? The picture up so they can see the scale, this this thing up just a little so they ah. can see the scale. There you go. It tells you the field of view is uh, 6.5 millimeters, and also you can see the scale bar on there is 2 millimeters right now where we are. Four never changes. Um, who we're won almost this? to 700. I'd say the warrior cats. Won Last this. weekend we were just over 600. This weekend just under 700. I did win. There was a mite war. How do I Google that? Yeah. Li okay. Yeah. First time here. Okay. Yeah. So um, actually, there was a very okay. So back around 18 million years ago, there okay. was uh, glaciers covering the part of the world that we live in. And uh, within those glaciers were these um, carnivorous, deadly snails. We actually looked at one of their shells earlier. They had the rings as well. And uh, as the glaciers receded, the snails entered in. And uh, they're invisible and they are um, magic. Uh, they are from a different world, galaxy, universe, if you will. And um, they came down and they ate all of the, uh, everything small, everything small, yeah. Yeah, oh, snail warrior, yeah, yeah. Stop, what if people believe you? If anyone believes me, they deserve to. <laughs> they deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> no, I, I, Nick Kutzi, uh my king or queen. Um, I think we need Remember the Snail War t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> please, oh, please. You didn't take a picture of this, I can't. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be. <laughs> get it, get it. I'm gonna get it in focus. First get it in focus, yeah. yeah. This this is too much. <laughs> Never forget. 
<laughs> it's gonna be held to the same esteem as like I don't wanna say it. One of those channels, no. Uh, okay, Pacific Plankton, thanks for hanging out with us. Sorry. We're getting ready to grade somebody anyway. Yeah, we so. just need one more picture. Should it be a seven or should it be a six? Go ahead, make it a seven. See what it, it's kind of like dotty though. Six then, go ahead. Okay. See if it helps. That'll do it. It kind of fixed it, good enough for me. How do we pick which might? Well, you know, that. To do that, answer to that question, you need to be inside of Mallory's mind. Uh, which, you mean like which one I would zoom in on? I liked its legs. Those snails died for you, Mom. That's why we have freedom. Yes. Uh, <laughs> these, these, these might sacrifice themselves fighting for, uh, for oil rights in their countries. <laughs> remember, remember the snail might to some purpose. 4004 GH. What's up? Oh no, we're now at 695. This will be our last stream ever. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! <laughs> this is excellent. <laughs> what kind of microscope is this and why is it so slow? Here, oh boy. Uh, we got a command for that. It's like yeah. this one. Boom. Mm -hmm. There's a block of text for you. Mm -hmm. That's what kind of microscope we got. We didn't know it until now, but these, these, these mites are why we voted on November 4th. These mites. These mites laid down their lives for you. What, what was the best one? Um, what was the best one that they said? God, what was it? Remember the snail war. <laughs> <laughs> what are you typing? Remember the snail war. And then what was the other one that was so funny? I'm stealing your ideas. It's going to be merge. Um, remember, remember the snail might descend. Copy that. I'm not even gonna type. I'm gonna copy and paste it because I'm I'm that original. Fantastic. All right. Okay. Well, uh, I set it up to raid Dr. WD40. Uh, this is another uh, uh, person who's just chatting, but um, has science in their origin, um, and they're part of the Knowledge Fellowship. So definitely something you should check out. Um, <laughs> uh, we want to thank everybody for uh, hanging out with us. Uh, we had sort of fun time just kind of goofing around today. Um, maybe on Wednesday we'll do a serious stream. You're addicted to Mallory. Well, of course you are. That's cute. Uh, she's like a narcotic. <laughs> Uh, are you going to be here on Wednesday? What's the, what, what number is that? What, what day number what is that? Number what is day that? number is that? What is the day number associated with Wednesday? 16. Ooh. Yeah, I can be there, but I'm probably going to drive away right after that. That would be a good idea, actually. I could leave from here. <sighs> All right. Well, uh, we're going to go ahead and raid now. I want to thank everybody for hanging out, and uh, we'll catch you on Wednesday or maybe sooner uh, if I stream sometime at night. Goes the raid. It's just animal. Four, three, two. Here we go. Raid. All right. Did we go? Okay. Go to this one. Yes.